Hey everyone, this is Ari Armani, Toronto Real Estate Agent. While I was on a vacation, I sent out a quick video to tell you about the numbers that came out in Toronto Real Estate Market. Today, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. As you already know, the sales have been dropping. And if we compare the sold volume to the exactly the same time a year ago, we see the sales numbers are 44% lower than what it was a year ago. But if we compare the sold volume to the past few months, we realize that the sales number are almost steady. And as I'm gonna show you right now on chart, the average price which in February and March 2022 peaked and plunged all the way to a million seventy thousand dollars in July are also bouncing off a million fifty thousand dollars for the past few months ever since July. Now I'm gonna take you to the screen and tell you a little bit more about the charts and numbers and in my future videos I'm gonna give you more insights about the directions that the market may go in the near and long term future. Alright without further ado let's take a look at the charts. Alright guys as you already know you go to my website yourrealestateagent.com go click on market you can go down and read the article by yourself i'm not going to read it for you but i'm going to go through the charts da, 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 da. let's start with toronto homes all property types we're going to click on one year as you can see we were talking about that february 2022 peak a million damage price of a home in toronto was 1.334 i didn't plunge in a few months it plunged to a million seventy thousand dollars in july and ever since as you can see it's bouncing off around a million fifty now let's take a look at the sold volume so volume at the peak was about 11,000 properties sold in a month and it went down to 5,000 and 3,100. I would like to add this one here. In my opinion, in the next couple of months or the next few months, we are going to see that the sold volume, again, this is not, I'm not talking about the price. Don't get confused. I'm talking about the sold volume, number of sales. In my opinion, in the next couple of months, let's say, for example, at the end of February, when the numbers come out for the month of February, I would think that based on what I see in the market, the number of sales are going to go a little bit higher. So it's not going to tell you 103,000 number of sales. So by the first week of March, we're going to find out if I was thinking right or not. But in my opinion, February, March, or once we get closer to the spring market, the number of sales will pick up. And again, I'm talking about the number of sales or the sold volume. I'm not talking about the price. So don't come at me and say, oh, you said the prices are going up. No, I'm talking about the sales. So let's see if the sales volume are going to go up or not. We're about to find out soon. All right, let's go to the active listings. As you can see, the active listings in July, was 16,000 active listings it dropped down all the way to around 9,000 active listings that takes the month of inventory to three months of inventory which is between two and three months of inventory this zone is a balanced market but once we go like a little like around three or four that's going to be buyer's market and again this is all property types in toronto so it's condos and houses everything combined so it shows us a picture of macro real estate market in toronto not your local neighborhood that your neighbor is selling with multiple offers or let's say for example your condo that your neighbor's condo is on the market for a couple of months that is not sold yet so we are not talking about those micro markets this is just uh toronto this one uh please read it by yourself condo sales drop by 52 percent year over year for prices eight percent year over year down so again this is like 50 percent drop in the number of sales let's go take a look at the charts we're gonna go there click on one year as you can see eight hundred eight thousand dollars. i love that number it was the peak in march 2022 and ever since the prices dropped up to basically $680,000 in uh, end of January. Okay, let's take a look at the sold volume. As you can see, the number of sales in condos were about 3,000 sales in a month and it dropped down to about almost uh, 1,000 or less than 1,000 sales in a month. And that takes us to this interesting number. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. The condo market in Toronto is in like around uh, four months of inventory. If you remember from my last video, I think I sent out a short because they sent out like both longer videos and short videos if you are not so subscribe to my channels make sure you subscribe to my channels to get on top of what's happening in toronto real estate market before everybody else so if you remember from the short video i was telling you that the condo market if you're looking for deals right now because the condo market is a buyer's market at this point so if you're looking for deals you can find deals in condo market and i can tell you that the condos are not going to move up actually that that was the the topic of my short that i covered in the short that i explained that it always takes the single family detached homes to push the market so let's say for example if the detached homes don't run up the condos will not follow i don't know if that makes sense or not if it doesn't make sense just go back and take a look at my short which i published i think a few days ago or something so my point is that when we are talking about the average or a snapshot of the macro environment in toronto real estate we're talking about the average of these numbers let's say for example if the detached homes are in a balanced market but condos are in a buyer's market of course the average is not gonna tell the whole story so now when we look at the micro markets we can find out what's happening in the smaller pockets and or specific 
specific property types all right now let's take a look at the detached houses oh by the way before going to the detached market you can take a look at the little snapshot about the condos in toronto downtown toronto which is month of inventory in downtown toronto is around 4.3 month of inventory which is a buyer's market and it can tell you that 146 condos sold in the past month while, while the standing inventory is 646 condos standing inventory so basically out of four condos one is selling every month in downtown toronto all right so let's go take a look at the detached homes because that's what uh, many people are interested in so let's say uh, detached homes prices are down 23 percent year over year but seems to be flattening let's take a look at the charts we click on one year as you can see the peak of a detached home prices in toronto was about 1.8 million dollars now it's about 1.34 and as you can see it's been bouncing in this zone ever since july you can see that on the chart the same goes to the sold volume you can see in the past couple of months sold volume was about 14 13 1400 sales and active listings also interestingly are dropping so it takes the month of inventory with 2.8 month of inventory which is like still literally in a balanced market so balanced market doesn't mean that prices are going up or down balanced market means that if it's a nice house in a good neighborhood it's gonna fly off the shelf within a few days but if it's a cookie cutter or the average home in an average neighbor or a mediocre area or street it's gonna sit on the market and probably the seller has to take a hit on prices and it's gonna go get sold on their asking so that's a balanced market that's a market that buyer and seller can negotiate depends on the situation and the detached home in Toronto specifically central Toronto so if you're talking about the we call it like Toronto district so central Toronto districts which the codes start with a C CO1 CO2 up to C15 those are the areas that are in high demand right now for detached single-family homes so in those areas if you're looking to buy something or if you're thinking to sell something you should know that there's some demand demand over there and if the house shows good priced well and it's in a good street it most probably will fly off the shelf within a week or two so anyways hope you enjoyed today's video if this video brought any value to you please make sure to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channels and hit the bell button to get notified before everybody else of what's happening in toronto real estate have a wonderful day bye